a couple of things that we're going to look at um, today in terms of, uh, in light of Wednesday night, um, is the game. Now, there's different ways of doing match analysis for me. There's, we can break it down, we can watch highlights, we can break the whole game down, we can look at um, how you know we've conceded goal, we can look at passages of play in midfield, uh, movement, good movement. Uh, but this is a method that I use at Huddersfield um, and use in the past. Uh, this is a method that I found out, found quite useful at other clubs as well, that I learned um, a few years back of a guy who's, who's, who's gone to Manchester United now. Um, and it's just going to focus upon the team jigsaw. Obviously you've seen that the, 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 uh, the four corners, obviously there's five elements in my opinion to football. Tactical, technical, social, psychological and physical. All right? Um, in terms of the game, we're going to look at the first 15 minutes of uh, each half um, and then we're going to look at the goals um, for and against. Um, what I'd like you to do as an individual um, is write down on your sheet, obviously the parts of the jigsaw, and I'll tell you why we call it the jigsaw in a minute. Um, you're going to break it down and say, right, tactically, what you might have done right as an individual. Okay, you're going to put your names on top of the sheets as well, so I can test for knowledge, see what your understanding is of it. And then from there, you're going to look at the team. So, what you think you could have done better as a team, tactically, technically, socially, even psychologically. What could be, what, what, what might have happened in certain situations. For me, once again, this one was massive the other night. The psychological element. Not just that, this one as well. So, forgetting about this and this, you know, the state of the pitch maybe dictated a lot of things, um, but, you know, the bottom two um, going into the game was vitally important. We can't ignore it. The reason why we call it a jigsaw, why do you think we call it a jigsaw, uh, Jacob? <clears throat> well, because it's all pieces of the puzzle. So okay. Like, uh, in order to have success, you have to have them all together. Good. Properly. Has any single player got the full jigsaw, do you think? No, but as a team, maybe I'll have the tactical, and Doug, you have the physical, and you know, once we all come together, then the puzzle is complete. Absolutely brilliant answer. I'm just going to show you a, a little bit of a motiv motivational video um, that I've found before we go into it. Here's the thing that makes life so interesting. The theory of evolution claims only the strong shall survive. Maybe so. Maybe so. But the theory of competition says just because they're the strong doesn't mean they can't get their asses kicked. That's right. See, what every long shot come from behind underdog will tell you is this. The other guy may in fact be the favorite. The odds may be stacked against you, fair enough. But what the odds don't know is this isn't a math test. This is a completely different kind of test. One where passion that's a funny way of trumping logic. Right, now into today's game. First 15 minutes, get ready to write down, play a jigsaw, make sure you put your name on it. This is for me to reflect upon, chat with Martin about. And at some point, I might even come have a chat with you about certain things, okay? That's good that you reflected upon that, all right? Possibly true. I've seen you in certain situations where you are composed. All right, and you get it out from the back and you play. So you've got it, you've 100% got it in you, all right? Have the confidence, like we say, and the, the psychological element will affect your technical, all right? Has anybody else got a technical aspect? Go on then. How about easy passes not being completed? Okay, easy passes not being completed. Can we excuse, can we, can we ex have an excuse for the pitch, would you say, for that? I still think that there are some easy passes that went astray. Good. That shouldn't have been. Why? Why was that then? Do you think? I'm just not concentrating hard enough. Okay. Just casual. <clears throat> okay, so you say concentration. Do you have to concentrate to connect to a five yard pass? Would you say, James? To an extent, yeah. You have to concentrate. Okay, why? On it. 
Well, I just think the state of the pitch, I think the situation of being at the goal down, I really think every pass matters and seeing the amount of passes that were given away in both teams, it's, okay. I think you've got to start with the basics first. Okay. Well, there were lots of lots of decisions, the state of the game, style of play, how we had to adapt, you know, do we get drawn into their style of the game? So I've had to reflect, prompted me today to do this, okay. Um, and ultimately you guys will have to reflect as well and, and, and that's what this is about. Has anybody got any tactical aspects that I um... I thought um, early on, like pressure with the ball, tactically yeah. with pressure on one and twos. Okay. But they were getting out of it and then they were looking for the long ball. So like as a team you'd have to recognise either press them and get their head down and maybe force them, or if you weren't going to get to them you had to drop as a team, because that's where the first goal came from, that long ball. One over the top. So is that just as defenders? No, that's as a team. That's as a team. We yeah. all drop. <clears throat> Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. Um, I said to look to go forward quicker and more often because there's times where like I receive the ball and I'll just give it right back to Corey or to uh, <clears throat> the center man checking. But you know, if I open up, I'd be easier to find John either in the space or to his feet, and it'd be relieve pressure off of us and everyone else. Okay, no, that's, that, 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 that's a great point. And other elements, let's talk about maybe the, the, the psychological element of that. Did, did anybody see anything psychologically during that half? Well, we just looked like we lacked confidence. Do you think the physical element was something that was missing? Go on. Yeah, I, was, I wrote down that they uh, kind of set the tone for like the first tackle on Dougie. Where they just got in and then they just looked like they were going to get after the whole game. Yeah, I, I agree. And that's another thing in terms of the learning. We learn from that. Next time we play them and they come in, come this, this Saturday, and we, we say it and we talk it, and it's all right answering all the questions in the dressing room and on the pitch, but don't tell me anymore, you know, show me. And that's what I want to see. I want to see you guys getting on the pitch and answering the questions out there. And that comes from the first whistle, dictating play right from the start. And you know, I, I'm, I'm not going into sort of, um, yeah, let's go win the ball straight away, blah, blah, blah. And it, it, it plays a purpose. You go out there and you make your presence felt right from that very whistle. Teams can, can fade psychologically. And for me, that was something that, that we needed to address. And so right, going back to psychological, let's talk about the game of football itself. How many times did we hit the post or the bar or the woodwork? Three. Three times, yeah? So, we've created chances, we've created opportunities, we score them, one inch to the side, three centimetres to the side, that goes in. Is this a very different game? Okay, it's, it's natural, okay? Teams do, you know, um, fall under the, under the cost a little bit. And um, things are against you. But we had opportunities. We put away them chances. This is a very different game. Once again. Then it affects us psychologically. Then we start to compete. But the idea is now, is can we, and what I'm tasking you with, tomorrow, no matter what the state of the game is, can we keep a positive mental attitude, that winning mentality throughout? It's difficult, lads. It's very difficult. But the best team in the last 10 years, 15 years in England, is Manchester United. The biggest word, and they had it on the tops when they played against um, Bayern Munich the year they won the treble, was relentless. And that's because for the full 90 minutes, or the 95 minutes, for the full way through the penalties, they did not stop. And they had a winning mentality throughout. I don't think Manchester United, on, on paper, were the best team in, in Europe that year. I don't think they were for that. Probably in, in, in the league, maybe, on paper. But I'll tell you what they did have. It's proven a positive mental attitude that can happen. You make a mistake, you switch on, you get into a position to receive. We reflect upon it afterwards, go watch it on Huddle, go home, think about the game, alright? But not during the match. Don't beat yourself up during the match because that can cost us. That can cost you, it can cost the team. You know, it can cost us a goal just by you beating yourself up for that one minute, alright? And it's happened two or three times there in the first half we made a pass. In fact, one of us stopped completely. Didn't track his runner, people went through, okay? That cannot happen. Um, so, you know, that's that, another lesson to be learned. Um, I'm just going to skip it forward a few phases for the last little bit.
think we as individuals now need to start taking responsibility. Thinking to well, massively. Um, there's certain individuals in here who, at the, in that game, it stood out for whatever reason it was, were trying harder than others. This man here, Corey, every single game gives everything he's got. And I commend you for that. Alright? But if you want standards within teams, Right? At the moment, in terms of desire, commitment, work ethic, work rate, that's the man who's, who's ticking the boxes, who's standing out at the top. Physicality. Is he a big lad? He uses his body excellently. All right? So, in terms of that, one of the smallest men on the pitch, playing at centre half, or he has been anyway, all right? Setting standards. Once again, you can learn from your teammates, strengths and weaknesses. Strikers need to be on the ball, getting into them attacking channels, looking for them through balls. Okay? I'll leave it on that. Okay, well done, thanks for coming today, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Leave your sheets on here. One o'clock at the bus. Make sure you time, guys.